All right, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for a slight delay there. Uh, we got trouble. We got in some trouble by a moose. Uh, so we are. Oh, my Everything's going on. We got animals. We got bells. Uh, today's hearings for May nineteenth, twenty twenty one. Uh, beginning a little late, but uh, let's take it away, Mr. Hearing Officer. First item is seven Orlando Place. Yeah, sorry. Let me know when you're ready. I'm, I'm oh, ready. I was born ready. <laughs> okay. All right, seven Orlando Place. Yes. And who do we have here? So, Attorney uh, James Sarcini representing uh, Laszlo Kismar. <laughs> who is sitting to my left? Okay, Mr. and Ms. Kesmark, you raise your right hand. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. Okay, what's going to happen is Mr. Hedaki, you've been here before, but I'll repeat it for the record. Mr. Hedaki is going to present the city's findings, and then you're going to tell me what's happened since we last met, and then we'll figure out where we're going from here. Fair enough? Everybody ready? Yes, let's roll. All right. Everybody's favorite, the old share screen. And we will go to, there you go, seven Orlando plays. I already had that up. It almost like I knew what I was doing. Um, so last uh, time out was April 21st. And at that hearing, we had a continuance to today, May 19th. <coughs> uh, the 6750 fine was up to contingency fine. Let me clarify that. Um, to seven thousand dollars contingency fine, and uh, must show some progress. So, uh, <coughs> I present to the hearing officer. If you smell that, that smells like a fresh photo right there. That was done just this morning. Uh, and so, what we have here is <coughs> in previous uh, inspections, there was a trailer back here and a small dump truck, those have been removed. We also had an unregistered vehicle right here. I apologize for the oblique angle, but it was right next to where the red truck is. That has been removed. So all that we are left with at this point, uh, as you may recall, the uh, <coughs> property owner is doing uh, some substantial grading and re, um, I guess, landscaping of the Spot backyard of the property. Back and um, so in this photo, you can see the, um, the dirt and fill that's been uh, excavated and placed there. And this is just a close up. This is the only item Sorry. which is left. <laughs> Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, my phone is off and I am not that popular to be getting messages at this point. That's my uh, time I'm supposed to be here. Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, it worked. Uh, and this is just the last piece of equipment we still have on the property. Uh, there's still some work. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Three there. My bad. And, um, but other than that, it looks like the property is still being worked on. I didn't get a picture of it. Um, looks like there was a boulder that was pulled up from somewhere between here and China. Uh, no, it was on the side. And uh, it was just rolled down. So it's going to be rolled. To nah. the back, yeah, it was, it was quite <coughs> so. Um, I guess this was going to be our easiest presentation today, I think. Uh, so there is very good substantial improvements since last time, we're just not quite over the finish line with the site work. So, um, obviously, we want to make sure that things are completed and uh, timely, uh, <coughs> timely fashion, as always. Um, we're well, looking for the sorry. Now we're looking for um, just to keep a contingent fine in place so that we ensure this gets done in a timely manner. Why did we did we not give you enough time? The last hearing was one month first, a little less than a month ago. Uh, a month ago, a little less than a month ago. Yes. And so um, I had specifically asked um, at the last hearing if this was more of a make sure there's progress happening or be completed um and so you had indicated it was a make sure progress was happening um i will say that uh mr kismark has informed me that that he's been impeded that that cylinder blew on that uh that excavator. excavator so he's pulling that out this weekend and getting it fixed um and still waiting on 
the, the fence to be installed to finish the grading. He's gonna he's gonna use the smaller machine to keep you know making some progress, but certainly can't make it as fast as when the excavator is up and running. So uh, one of the things he had offered, which I thought would sit well with um, sit well with you with the hearing officer was he asked for I think uh, you meet on Wednesdays and he asked June 30th final deadline be finished fail not uh, he feels it definitely could be finished by that time and have everything gone and I thought that that was uh, certainly something you would want to hear of a, a, a date certain that we could wrap this up that sounds excellent to me. It's apparently you really did make a lot of progress. <clears throat> June 30th. Uh, June 30th. The only reason June 30th is not good because I won't be here. Okay. So uh, we. Why will you be back here next? Uh, well, so around the third after June 30th. Uh, we're open. We don't have them scheduled yet, so we can make it the seventh if you want, and we can start that meeting. Start loading up that agenda. If, if I could just ask, sure, for the fourteenth, because I, I, I traditionally am way that that we <laughs> usually do wait on the thirtieth, so I, I can really relate to that. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like June the thirtieth. Right, so we're going to go to July seventh. Doesn't work. So July fourteenth. Yep. Okay. Well, that's certainly two weeks more than you're asking for, so you can't. Mm -hmm. No complaint. Yeah, it can't not be done. Okay. I put on here in my notes was uh, June, July 14th to complete. Okay, let me just get this. So the hearings are now we're going to have a hearing. Yes. We're back in business on that. Well, at least not into July. We do have two scheduled in June, but they're prior. Like once I commit to this hearing mm -hmm. date, it won't be in. Yeah. Or in my calendar. There you go. So I'll know when I missed it. All right, so here's where we are. I have a form that you want me to fill out. Do I? So, uh, <coughs> violation continues. What significant? Continue to notice now. I will notice. Okay, now let's talk fines. I've got a contingent fine of seven thousand dollars. Well, I'm going to leave it in place. We'll see what happens. Lower it. And we'll see what happens if you come back. Is it finally complete? If you don't have it finally complete, I want a really good story. I want documentation. I want understood. Okay, I'm not going to say I won't hear you, but. This has been going on for a while, but we seem to be taking it seriously, so we'll go that way. Yeah. All right, John, we're all set. That is Thanks very much, thank you. Place. I had to pause. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. I don't know if anybody's there, but you're keeping score at home. We are on to 18 Cold Spring Place, which on your uh, scorecard is number three on our agenda. And uh, this is a one that was continued from April 21st. Uh, so let me pull up the shared screen while uh, Attorney Obris does his thing with uh, the property owner. Ms. Coran? Yeah, my husband can't be here, so I'm here. That's fine. Okay. Um, uh, I'm Gary Obris, I'm your hearing officer. Mr. Hidaki is the deputy zoning inspector. He will present the city's findings. I'll listen to what you have to say. And we will come to some kind of arrangement. If you raise your right hand, you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. You put your hand down. Okay. All righty. All right. So 
Uh, previously, as I said, we were here on April 21st. And at that time, uh, we had a continuance to today, no fine. And if it was resolved, we wouldn't be here today. Okay, yes. Well, that, uh, sometimes that's a bad thing, but let's, well, let's, hear, what you let's hear it out. Let's hear it out, shall we? Let's hear it out. So uh, this here, this is a photo from another fresh one from today. It doesn't, they're kind of in the same area, so I, was, I hit them on the way back. So the trailer is still there, um, and it's still not compliant with one setback. Now, I did see a vehicle back there, but the good news is it's registered, okay. which is good. And per this email here, right here, the van, which was the unregistered vehicle, has been removed. Uh, so that is a very good step in the right direction. And the last thing I wanted to show, just as a, I know the property owner is prepared to uh, um, explain the existence of the trailer, but I also want to um, show the hearing officer that uh, even if the trailer is an issue to remove, there is a way to keep it there and be compliant. Uh, it just has to meet the setbacks. So the setbacks for a recreational vehicle in a C-zone are, and follow along, the street frontage on Cold Spring, it's like 47 and change. I round it down, made it easy. Nobody, I'm not that big. Uh, side setback, six feet. Secondary street front here, I could do the math, but trust me, it's 15 feet. Uh, it gets complicated on the corner a lot. And then 10 feet off the rear. This is considered the rear because it's the opposite of the shortest street front. So that's the rear side of that. Okay. So it meets this one, obviously meets this one, definitely meets this one. The 10 foot one is the issue. It is right up against the fence, which is, fences are generally a good indication of the property line. They could be off by a little bit. But definitely within a setback. Uh, so the city's position is that one of two things need to happen: the trailer needs to be removed, or it can remain. It just has to move ten feet, basically ten feet towards the house. Where is the trailer? If I may do a uh, very quick aerial photo, so I'm going to stop screen share here. I came prepared this time. On my last me, <laughs> on my last me, I kind of got hung out dry there by my own accord, by my own doing. Okay. Aerial photo. And I'm going to zip in. You get seasick. Very <laughs> All right. Actually, eh, it's not a great view there. So we're going to go. This is what happens when Google does their uh, does their aerial photos in the springtime. So we're going down here. This is West Dover Street, which is the there we go. So now let me just do my share screen one more time for the people at home. And there we go. Okay, so this is the trailer right here and the fence line is approximately that's gonna be real hard to see with the even with the, you know on the street but you can see it's right here and here roughly with the telephone pole mm -hmm. is roughly the property line you know, so give, give or take two feet i think i think that actually is it's probably right on the border of both yeah. properties so as you can tell there's it's right there so, um, so yeah, the two things, it would have to be either removed or relocated. Um, but again, we solved half the violation in that the unregistered vehicle was removed. We have to hear. Yes, we are. Ms. Karen, what, is your, what do you have to say? I am Ben. First of all, do you have any objections to any pictures you were seeing? No, it's, that's all what it looks like. Okay. 
Thank that you. one there looks like one of the older ones. So oh, that's like the van still Google. there. This isn't me. All right, the van's still there. That's gone. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, that, that's that's not me. I've been trying to get rid of it. I put it on Facebook Marketplace. I had a guy that wanted it. He wanted it. He wanted it. He said, "I'll pick it up. I got to get a tow hitch." And all of a sudden, he says, "Oh, I can't get a tow hitch. I can't. I have no way to remove it, so I don't want it." So it was off Marketplace for like two weeks. So I put it back up and I actually shown Mr. Hey Ducky here. Somebody today just requested to see it tomorrow. So God willing, it'll be gone this weekend, I hope. Otherwise, we'll work with the other. Are you selling it or are you giving it away? Uh, at this point, I have it up for sale because marketplace you can't put free. Okay. But the lady, she said she'll come look at it. I said it, the price is extremely negotiable. Come with a way to take it and it's yours basically. Give me a dollar for it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you I guess when you're selling the vehicle, you have to have some, you have to have some sort of some that, sort that, of that okay. So that's hopefully otherwise, what would it take you to move the trailer? We'd have to pull it out and move it to 10 feet from the step back. Right. So how what would be involved in that? You gotta hire the... uh we have a truck with a tow hitch. So you could move it. Technically, yeah. Well. My husband can. I am not going to say I can move a trailer. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> you were collected. Okay. So then let's do this. I'm going to give you more time. I'm going to give you time. If you don't get it sold, you're going to have to move it. Okay. And then you can take forever to sell it. But you can't just let it sit here indefinitely. Yeah. At this point, I want rid of it. Like I said, I know. I know. Here. We haven't used it in like seven years. Been trying, I understand that. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Because you did make progress, all right, uh, we can work with you here. Oh, I didn't do it again. Then I'm so focused on my presentation today. It's, uh, it's all right. That's the important part. Oh, yeah, I guess we can say that. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Violation continues, but half cure. I'm going to give you a month. I think that should be fair. We actually do. We do have to, unless you have some reason to, that's not enough time. Uh, I'm going to say that's okay. Okay. Because my husband would be the one. What a month from now would be what? Well, the next meeting, so a month would be the night. Obviously, we're not here on Saturday, so uh, the 23rd, we actually do have a hearing scheduled on the 23rd. Could you through. actually do six weeks, perhaps? Well, uh, we run into the same problem with the uh, well, no, actually, we don't because it, we, we skipped out. Yeah, never mind. I'm just not here on the 30th, so I'm so here. If we go to the 7th, that'll be six weeks, that will be. Yes, that would be six weeks. Continue to July 7th. God willing, it will be gone. Right, July 7th. Uh, for trailer removal or $1,000 fine. Yeah, if it's gone, you call John, he'll check it out. You won't even have to come back. Yeah. Okay, so or if, if we can't move it to move it to the, within the setbacks, yeah, either way, yeah. And like I said, you've cured it, call him, yeah, either having, way. Okay, you haven't cured it, come in here and convince me why I shouldn't make the fine permanent. Okay, all right, I'm July 7th, it's gone. Yeah, July 7th, and we are we're good. Okay, all right, ladies and gentlemen at home, and there's still nobody there. We are done for 18 cold spring. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are uh, moving on to, or back up, however you want to look at it, to 245 Wilson Avenue. This was the uh, first item on the agenda. Um, we have uh, a potential item later where the um, owner may show up. So we're going to do a couple where we know the uh, owner or council is not showing up. So 245 Wilson Avenue fits the bill. So let's go to the share screen. And. 245 Wilson Avenue. So uh, last time here was March 17th. 
St. Patty's Day. Um, and at that point, we continue to today's hearing from there. I'm glad that we actually had it on the docket. Uh, $2,500 contingent fine remains with the caveat that by today there has to be progress. So I can get to the, I, I, I'll put on the record, even though I have a photo here, but on the record that the driveway is in the same condition as it was back on March 17th, and that it has been since approximately 2008 when this complaint first came across our, our desk. So the reason why I have a photo is because uh, I will verify that they do indeed have a permit for a driveway that was just issued on Monday, I believe it was. Or alteration to the driveway, I shouldn't say a new driveway, I should say alterations to a driveway. Joe is not here in front of me with our new filing uh, admin and just a little behind at the moment, learning the ropes. So, uh, so I don't have it with me, uh, but I will put on record under oath that uh, it was issued. So now the only thing left to do is actually do the work. Okay, so they couldn't do the work without the firm. Right. Legally, I mean, they could have, would have been nice, but legally they didn't have to. They, they should wait till they get the permit. So they did the right thing. Right. So they got the firm. They got the permit, they got the sign off. And why did it take so long to get the permit? Is, it, is that their fault or what? It was initially, well, it, initially it was definitely not their fault. They hired a contractor oh, that right, was right, right, right. shady, and then they hired another contractor. Okay. Lack of better terms wasn't uh, the fastest, okay. even by our standards. Like so we now we got a permit. We have a permit, and now there's the work has to be done. Um, um, so let's see what they're saying. So they want a 30 day continuance with the condition the work begins by then? Yeah, it, it should. If it doesn't begin by it, within a month, there's a problem. Now this is you, right? That's me on that one. You want to give them a third. What do they say? What's oh, I didn't go, I didn't print out the whole email. It was nine pages long. Um, the, I could actually, I. Uh, well, that's my better judgment. I'll bring up my email. Uh, so we'll stop. Well, I'm just asking, do you remember what? Attorney Heisler, Attorney Heisler just asked for a continuance, okay. and he kind of went just went a little back and forth. Uh, because my my take on this is that if we if it, a normal driveway could be done in two to three weeks, there is a caveat here where they have to install some landscaping or a barrier. It's not just a simple driveway. Yeah, when I wanted to get my driveway repaid and I had everything in place. It took me over a year to get somebody to do it. I shouldn't take they, they, that. I, I was, unfortunately, I think that was a bad uh, experience you may have had. <laughs> yeah, it was horrible. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're going to give them 30 days to start. To at least get it going. Right? So that means what? Piece of equipment shows up. I no, know. no, I, I would we'll say, hear what they say. Well, here they say there, there's a few things that they can do to show where like for example you cut the shape of the driveway you just take a okay they just take a uh their saw their asphalt saw okay did another great job here <laughs> okay, took care of your question okay give me the problem Rid of my mask so I can lift my finger. To go I've been doing that for a, oh, 14 months now. Violation continues, but permit issued. Continued 30 day, continued to. Uh, we could do the 23rd because 30 days is the 19th, but again, that's a Saturday. So the next year's one is. So he's getting 34 days out of it. To June 23rd, yeah. 623 for work to start. All right. I mean, like, and I will, you know, for example, if they do something very, very minor, and I will disagree that it is substantive work, we can have that debate that day. Okay, contingent fine. We're not going to raise it then since they did something. It was how much was it? It was 2500 
find $2,500 remains. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, we're take a very quick pause here so we can, uh, I can get myself organized for the next time. All right, back ladies and gentlemen, and that is, we're going to be going to item number five, which is 7 Oak Hill Avenue. And uh, this is another one which was continued from, I'm looking at my uh, notes here properly, from the 21st of April with uh, a $10,000 assess fine and a $5,000 contingency fine. Uh, let's go to the videotape. I forgot what sportscasters used to say that. Um, they all say? Yeah, the one yeah, who has one like, made, it famous, made it real yeah. famous. Yeah, exactly. I, I can look that up one day when I have absolutely nothing better to do. Um, so last the decision form from April 21st was, a little bit early. Continued to May 19th, $5,000 additional assessed fine for a total of $10,000 and a $10,000 contingency fine for progress. Wow. Yeah. That's normally not us, but uh, here we are. Um, so the total is about 10. So it's now standing 10,000 non contingent and 10,000 right. contingent. Correct. All right, let's see the notice. Yeah, let's get the notice here. So we have the notice of hearing sent out there on, oh, where's my date there? May 14th, which is last week, by Constable Bondi and service, and um, Constable Bondi's service and by certified mail. The next page is Constable Bondi's service. And just as a reminder, this was the address where he found the property owner at. And had a lengthy discussion last go around with him through the door. So to say that he's unaware of us trying to get a hold of him and get him here today would not be true. Was he here last time? He has never been here. He's never been here. He has never been here. But apparently Constable Bonnie has been the only one that's been able to actually make contact with him. Oh, well, that's worth being so that's okay. Yeah, so at least he, he did that. That's uh hope Constable Bonnie had some fun with it. Um so we'll move on to the uh All right, for the record i find notice oh, there you go. very good so um here's the pictures from i got them today um this is coming down oak hill avenue and we can always toggle between maps if need be i have a box truck right here and a small trailer uh do not despair i have a better picture of that right here and this is also a commercial vehicle. If the box truck and the trailer went there, this would be allowed, but it's not because of the other two pieces of commercial equipment. And if that wasn't enough, um, the trees are coming in nicely now. Uh, I can't almost see it and not see it anymore, but we do have a backhoe front loader in the rear of the property. And what I will also do is if I stop share screen, just so you can get a reminder of what this looked like last time, uh, I might as well, we might as well, you know, do our P's and Q's here. Um, pull up real quickly the last, uh, area. 20th. So, see, I just did, so I won't do with my fingers. And, and just make sure because I'll pull it up on the screen for everybody at home. Yep. So that was April 20th. I'm going to pull this up on the screen really quick. So I'm in Oak Hill. There we go. Go this way here. Go back to the meeting. We got to figure out a better way to do this. Anyway. Uh, all right. So this was the last hearing. And I'm just doing this, ladies and gentlemen, so we can get some pictures for comparison. Um, and I did hand the hearing officer the photos from April 20th. So I'm going to get down to those photos. Uh, let's see here. 
April 20th. Sorry for the delay, everybody. But you can see a box truck again as we're coming down Oak Hill uh, Avenue, very similar to the pictures I took today. Next photo, a little bit of a wider shot. I don't know if my Zoom capabilities weren't working at the moment, but you see there's a trailer and a box truck there and the same commercial pickup truck that's on the side in both pictures. And last but not least, the excavator uh, when there's a little less foliage on the tree. So you know, must be getting warmer. The trees are uh, filling in nicely. So, and that, yeah, and that is that. So um, long story short here, the issue is we have not heard anything from the property owner and the assessed fines that we have already instituted are up with the corporation council to file liens on the property. Uh, as far as I know, I haven't asked directly yet of corporation council if they have officially filed them yet, filed the liens. Um, if they haven't, I mean, we really should because uh, we got to send a message here. Uh, but also the silver lining is until they do, it's pretty easy to keep the fine calculating. We, I just send them your decision form and they up the, okay. the paperwork. So in that regard, it's slightly easier, but because once they file it, we kind of got to bring the lien in here, yeah. show the lien and all. It's a little bit more. Hang on to it for a while because clearly. Well, let me ask you this. Sure. Well, do you see any progress? No, no. I, I'll be completely honest on the record, the whole nine yards. That, uh, right, so now it looks like we're going to have to keep just keep checking this and keep finding. So if it's better to wait a little to find a bit more. It's fine. Okay. Well, I say the same thing. Yeah. All right. So this is the form there. Yeah. Form. This is for today. Back back. Back. All right, so violation continues. No progress. Now let's see. The fine is now the non-contingent part of the fine is how much? As it sits before you make your decision, ten thousand dollars. And the contingent as the well? contingent was ten thousand as well. Let me roll this up here real quick. There we go. Yep. So we have, yep, 5,000 becomes 10 additional to 10,000 and a contingent fine. Wow. Okay. Yeah. No progress. Fine. Contingent. Fine. Um, $10,000 assessed. And total. Fine, non contingent, $20,000. Continued. How much time do you want to continue? Well, uh, I, I'm not to break the, you know, not make it complicated, but I feel I should notice that. So, what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, because I'm out the next week. Mm -hmm. Is I'm going to give your decision form to the to corporation council. Okay. Should they decide to file the lien, then it's going to be twenty thousand. They're going to file that. Okay. So then at that point, it really it really doesn't matter how long we continue it, because if we continue it a month, and let's say there's no progress, and you add another five grand or something like that. The only thing I have to do is I have to get a copy of the lien from the land records and the corporation council, bring that down, and you have to just in your decision, basically saying amending existing mm -hmm. lien volume page number kind of deal. Uh, I, I don't know if that means anything. How far you want to get this going? But well, I don't. I don't think five thousand dollars of ten didn't get their attention. Five isn't going to do it. Well, I think the, the twenty thousand assessed brings it to, and this is I'll, I'll put this on the record. Doesn't matter to me. Uh, is our would put it in the top ten. Fines we've ever issued. Oh, good. So, what's um, the top one? I'm going to shoot for that. The top one is what was the top one? Is the actually, I hate to say it, it wasn't one that you issued. It was uh, Judge Papamblis's fine on Martin Luther King. <laughs> that was 48,000 change. 
thousand. That was the one I was going to find a thousand. Yeah, exactly. If they had just done it and not you right. know, pulled right. the stunt, then right. so uh, let's continue. Uh, you know, look, look, we already have the. I mean, it seems to be working. We already have the hearings on the twenty third of June. Continue to it's a month. six twenty one. Contingent, for a new contingent for um, $10,000. Need notice. Okay. No. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. 30 at some point, it's going to be worth your attention. Yeah, I mean, it's 20,000 probably could have cured what they did. What? Twenty thousand? They didn't have. It could cost them nothing. They said they the, the cure here. Like, I'm not sound like a broken record. I'll put it on the record. The cure here is they just have to literally remove the trailer, box truck, excavator, and if there's anything small in there, you just can't see behind all those things. And all that goes. It's cured. It doesn't cost them a darn thing to to to. to it's not like this is somebody that has to do construction or remove an apartment or something like that, where you know our fines would hinder them. Um, I and frankly don't understand, but that's that's the third. So we can go for the record if we, we can. Yeah. yeah. Well, then I'll let uh judge the pamphlets know, and I'll see if there's anything else I can toss them to get them back here to fix that. Uh -huh. I'm sure he doesn't want. I'm sure he doesn't want to be in second. <laughs> Okay. Maybe I click this one. Sorry, I'm a little late. I'm wondering for this one if you want for next hour. I'll give you this. I got a huge copy here. That's on. This is a uh, Seven Oak Hill at Ariel. I think I'm going to keep that for your so you property look up. You can see our friend the yellow excavator is actually in that picture from 2017. <laughs> If you want to keep it for your, keep it. your record, yeah, I, I got I got the large load in my seventeen oh, okay. here, so Fine, that's good. Right. so that next time it's here when you see it on the agenda, you can uh, bring it. In. Okay. So last but not least, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have. Uh, I just had to undo something on here real quick because felt it necessary for that last one. We had to. Uh, a little extra, make sure we get the record straight. Okay, so the last one left is Five Hillside Place. This was the only one on the board where I did not know if anybody was showing up. Um, so it is 432. Uh, I don't know if you want to give them, eh, should give them five minutes or three minutes or something like that just to see if they- It's, was there any contact with them? There, since the last hearing, no. Okay. But they did get the quote unquote oral notice at yes. the lab. So they got the notice to hear it. It was at three o'clock. Right. It's after 4 30. The only way I, the only reason I'm saying that is because you, I always do these things. It typically takes about 15 minutes per item. So I always say, okay, if there's five items, uh, 15 minutes, that's an hour and a half. So I was like, all right, so we go till 4 30 ish. They've had they have had their time. I figure if they walked in now, we'd still be doing it here. We'd still be here. Okay, we would be here till five minutes. What you say? Right. So uh, we would be here normally around around five o'clock anyway. So if you just wanted to give it five minutes. And okay. So, so we'll take a we'll take a break and we'll five minutes yes and we'll uh, we'll reconvene there. We we'll make a ten minute break. We'll reconvene at a quarter of that'll give us time to be done and then time yep. to get here. Right. All right. All right, everybody. We gave. Uh, Five Hillside, which is our last one, number four. Then we gave them some ample time to be here. So we're gonna press on and I will give the report to the hearing officer and the previous decision form. There we go. I'll get myself together real quick. The new decision form. They must take the photo now. Last time we're going to do a share screen. All right, Five Hillside Street. I don't know why, but place. Street. 
Um, yeah, I'm all over the place. Anyway, um, April 21st was the last time we were here. $500 contingency fine for needing an application to complete the driveway. Now, this has got interesting today. So this is what it looked like back in January. Stone, crushed stone, all are flattened out, ready to go for a driveway if I ever saw one. I go back today, that looks slightly different. Huh. Looks like it's been infilled a little bit. Yeah. Looks like they put some grass alongside here and back here. This is fresh all the way back here. Be honest, if I didn't know any better, I'd say they're filling that back in the landscape, which is another way to solve this. Yeah. And as a matter of fact, with the way our regulations read, and we were told by Con uh, Corporation Council this as well, if they put this all back to landscaping, but left, see that little wall here and they left the outline, they could park there legally because nothing in our regulations prevents folks from parking on grass. Huh. It has to be a hard surface. So if it's gravel. I thought it had to be gravel or asphalt. To be a parking service, correct. Right. Or it could be even this, we would, you know, because of that interpretation, we would consider this to be part of the front side of that. But if they put all grass here and they started parking on it, it would say that's fine. And that, that came from Corporation Council. Wow. So that. So my take on this one here is I, and I'm getting soft in my old age perhaps, is uh, that I haven't had contact with the property owner since our last hearing. Um, she and her daughter have my email. So they could have done that. Um, and they did say last time they want to get an application for a driveway. That did not happen. We do not have an application for a driveway. There's more on the other side of that. Sorry, I didn't even know that until I just saw it right now. Uh, <laughs> so, um, but on the flip side, if this, if they are filling this in to put grass and to put it back to landscaping, that's perfectly legal as well. It would help if they were communicating. would help if they were, yes, exactly. So I guess... My recommendation, I would like to at least give this a couple of weeks so that I can get a hold of them some way, shape, or form. I'm also not opposed to perhaps issuing a fine to get our money back for our mailing at this point. Just to send a little bit of a, okay, so a little bit of a message there. But I also don't, if they are making an attempt, I don't want to bankrupt them if they are actually making an honest attempt. So I'm going to do this. I'm charging something. Oh, sorry. That's right there. There we go. I kept hiding in front of you before. My relation continues. There may or may not be progress. Uh, I owe $150. Okay. $100 contingency fine. Continued. Um, let's see, what's the relatively short one here? Let's. So we have hearings again on the, uh, the 9th and the 23rd. So we could do the 9th is two weeks, more than two weeks, one, two, three weeks. We continue to 6931. Need notice. Okay. Yeah. That's All right, so let's, actually, that 
is that. So we are done for today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are taking a two week hiatus uh, because the deputy zoning officer will be out of state. And we just haven't scheduled anything for June 2nd. So um, I'm inclined to let that roll. And we will see everybody back here on June 9th. Sign off.